There is great joy and not just a little bit of shock in Iowa City, Iowa right now. The Hawkeyes were down double digits with about a minute left in regulation and pulled off one of the comebacks of all time to take down Michigan State 112-106 in overtime. Welcome into the HQ studio. Russ Thaler here with CBS Sports senior writer Matt Norlander. And to, uh, to steal a very well-known line, I don't believe what I just saw. How did that happen? How did it happen? Cue the video, because we're about to see why Fran McCaffrey is a Jedi mind master. This may have just changed the course of the entire college basketball season. Frankly, this is bizarre, bizarre. You see that you got 91-81 at this point, a minute and a half to go in this game. This isn't the greatest look for a head coach, I gotta be honest. But this flipped it and wound up getting Iowa to a point where it hits five threes down the stretch in the final 40 seconds or so. They score 16 points in the final 55 seconds to get it to overtime. This is the second greatest comeback with less than a minute to go in NCAA history. An unbelievable job by Iowa to just catch fire. Peyton Sanford hitting the three to get it to, uh, to the bonus session, and then Iowa was able to capitalize there. How about this? Michigan State, it hit 100 points in a game in a Big Ten game for the first time since 2008 and lost. Michigan State shot 54% from two, 73% from three-point range, and it hit 31 of its 36 foul shots and lost this game. Tom Izzo and that team have to be just shaking their heads, wondering what in the world just happened. But this is a huge Saturday in college hoops. I just don't remember ever seeing anything like this. That kind of comeback after a coach steps to an official, it was like they were in a Western. Fran McCaffrey staring him down. Not only that, the official walking closer to Fran McCaffrey as McCaffrey was getting closer to him after that. It was amazing. But one of the reasons why we have you here is to tell us, what does it all mean, though? Is there is there a greater meaning to the outcome of this game? Well, it does mean something important for Iowa. I mean, both these teams are comfortably in the NCAA tournament field. They're two of, you know, eight or nine teams that are that are in the mix in the middle of the Big Ten. You know, it's kind of Purdue. Northwestern has a firm spot on second for now, and then everyone else is, is huddled up between spots three and 11 for the most part here. Iowa, in getting this win, it is important to their overall NCAA tournament resume. They're floating in that 8-9 range right now. But this kind of victory can absolutely change a team's momentum when you are clearly staring defeat in the face and then you wind up turning it into a victory. I mean, they scored 23 points in the final 90 seconds of this game to get it to overtime. This is, this is an aberration, but I do think from a tournament perspective, like Iowa's just got a better resume now. They're not real, they're not a bubble team. This kind of win avoids them having to really get a little tight heading into the Big Ten tournament. Mm -hmm. And now we just keep an eye on a team, an Iowa team that can score in bunches. Might this be something that they pivot into March and really go on an on-ramp to uh, to system set? Couldn't keep our eyes off this game. Can't get the finish out of our brains. What a finish it was. Matt and Lauren Lander, thank you very much. Just to give you an idea. The Hawkeyes were down 13 with two minutes left, hit five threes in the last 40 seconds of regulation. This was not only the highest scoring game in the Big Ten this season, it's the third highest total in a Big Ten game in the last 40 seasons. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.